To write the formula for potassium hypochlorite, we first need to write the element symbol for potassium. That's just K. The hypochlorite, you're not going to find this on the periodic table. When you see ITE at the end of a name, that's going to be a polyatomic ion. So you either memorize the hypochlorite ion, that's CLO, and the whole thing has a 1 minus ionic charge, or if you're allowed, you look it up on a table of polyatomic ions. Since potassium is a metal, and then we have the hypochlorite polyatomic ion, it's a group of nonmetals, this is an ionic compound. So we need to make sure the charge is balanced. That's because potassium hypochlorite here, it's a neutral compound. It doesn't say ion after it. So the charges they need to add up to zero give us a net charge of zero. We know the whole hypochlorite ion here has that one minus ionic charge. Potassium, that's in group one on the periodic table. It's one plus. So the one plus and the one minus, that adds up to zero, gives us a net charge of zero. So this is the formula for potassium hypochlorite, KClO. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.